Joe Tamargo from wetheadpumpsupply.com. All right, so we get a lot of emails and a lot of people posting on the forums like, how do I remove my bearings and my, you know, my rotor armature inside my Haver Super Pump and what bearings are inside? Okay, so I'm going to show you. Okay, we've already loosened the two through bolts here. We had to actually like, grind the heads off the other through bolts. But the, you can watch that in other videos. We have like how to remove through bolts, how to remove stubborn through bolts. But I'm basically going to show you right now, how, once you have the through bolts out, how to take this apart and what bearings are inside. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is have a device like this. And you want to tap your rear end bell, like so, like that, get it loose. And you can tap your front end bell, just like that. And what you can do is you can slide out the motor armature. Here you can see this one is really rusty and dirty. Don't lose your bearing or tanner clip. And you can see here there's a 6203 bearing right there. And on the front there is also a 6203 bearing. Okay, so if you have an A.O. Smith motor just like this, and you're probably wondering how you do that. That's not a magic trick. We actually have a hole in the table for that kind of stuff so we can work on the bearings and pumps. All right, so you need a 6203 bearing in the front and a 62 bearing in the back end. Looks like there's a spider up in here. Might want to get rid of that, Robert. On the next video. All right, no. Okay, so that's how you take it out. You just pull it out like that. You get your two bearings inside, 62 or three bearings. Okay, so this is Joe Tamargo from wetheadpumpsupply.com. Go ahead and purchase your bearings. We sell those bearings. Uh, they're a few bucks. And you put them in your cart. You can check out. We'll ship them right out to you. All right, thanks for watching. Peace.